This particular RC30 example features Honda's specially designed NLO B series race engine, which produced an impressive 130 brake horsepower at 13,500 RPM, featuring shorter cylinder head ports and camshafts, which rotate in the opposite direction to that of a standard engine due to it having one less camshaft gear. The bike also boasts a full stainless steel 4 into 2 into 1 exhaust system, alloy fuel tank, race spec chassis including a single sided swing arm dubbed by Honda as the Pro Arm, and a lightweight composite fairing. The machine took Nick Jeffries to victory in the 1993 Formula One TT, ahead of three other RC30s. We're with Philip McCallum now as he bursts his way through Kurt Michael. Into Ren Cullen. The front wheel pouring the air. And that's what it looks like when you ride a 750 machine on the TT course. Joey Dunlop, followed by Nick Jeffries, and as Nick Jeffries has grabbed the lead by just one second. And Philip McCallan on his way now, down to Balacrane, changing down through the gearbox, cranking it into that corner, and up into the distance to the left-hander at Ballaspur. That's the leader through Quarry Benz. And we're back on board with Philip McCallan, and just look at the speed of these 750 machines. Jeffries is away. His advantage is increasing. It's over 30 seconds now. McCallan gets away eventually. He just holds on to his third place. There's Jeffries through the tricky section approaching Laurel Bank. Philip McCallan closing the gap. It's just 26 seconds now. He's down on the race leader, Nick Jeffries hurtling the machine around the mountain sections and onto the veranda. But it's Nick Jeffries, after years of trying, who takes the chequered flag some 15 seconds ahead of his teammate, Philip McCallan. 